Our latest coronavirus news with the vaccination rates allowing nursing homes to reopen. We have been able to bring you uh, so many happy reunions. Local 5's Danielle Zolkowski brings us double the joy for two sisters, both centenarians whose triumph over the pandemic is reason to toast tonight. When you go, get 100 and 102, you don't think anything of it. I mean, it's just what, what you are, you know. For many families, having someone reach the age of 100 is unheard of. But for these Oshkosh women, that's old news. Well, my, my, my mother was 100, so and Mary's 102 and I'm 100. Yes, you heard that correctly. Mary Gabbert on the left is 102 years old, and her younger sister, Ruth McCone, on the right is 100. And they're not even the first centarian in their family. That title belongs to their mother, who also lived to be 100. Both women said the isolation during the pandemic was difficult, but having each other helped them through it. It's very, very nice that we can both be together in the same space. While these women recognize that everyone is different, they both have one thing in common. They keep busy even after reaching the age of 100 years old. Well, we keep very busy. With, with bingo and different things and uh, a little a little cocktail hour every day, every week. I help some of the girls with some of the little mailing. I think it's good for you. It, it, you've got to keep going. With an increase in vaccinations and a decrease in cases, Miravita Living is now relaxing their visitation regulations so residents like Mary and Ruth can start to have regular visitors that don't have to stay in a plastic bubble when they come. In Oshkosh, Danielle Zolkowski, Local 5 News. Thanks, Danielle. And uh, Danielle says that to, to celebrate the reopening, they partied. Ruth enjoyed cranberry juice, while Mary chose Miller Lite. Well, she's got to <laughs> keep her figure. <laughs>